In this video, I'm going to show you how to um, grade all these assignments that you've made. So we went through all these different ways you can make assignments for students and ways that students can submit their work to you. Um, now I'm going to show you that in Canvas there's this really cool speed grader tool that can kind of expedite the process of running through and, and giving students grades. And there's a couple different ways to use it. I'm going to start by showing you just the basics. If I want to grade this homework assignment, I'll click on that homework and you will see a speed grader button. It may be on the right or depending on your browser setup, it might be on the bottom depending on your resolution. So if you don't see it over here on your right, you might scroll down to the bottom and see it. And so when I hit speed grader, that pops open this brand new window and you'll be able to go through all of your students. Right here, you'll see they're grayed out if they don't have something submitted. If it's got an orange dot and it's not grayed out, that means they've submitted something but you haven't graded it and it will turn green when you've graded it. So that could be a great way you could walk around your the classroom with your tablet and say, you know, hey kid, you haven't submitted this, oh I've got yours, and so that'll help you kind of with some classroom management and you'll know quickly where students are. This is the basics of your speed grader. You'll see the student submission here on the left and you'll have a chance to do your grading here on the right. Lots of different options here for the grading. Let me just sh say that these settings here, up in the top, sometimes you might want to mute the assignment so that no one put it on mute while you're grading so that students can't see their grades until you're done and you might unmute it when, you, when you're finished grading the entire class. That way, if, it, if it's like an essay that takes you a long time to grade, three kids aren't talking about their grade while the rest of them are waiting you to grade theirs. Um, but that's an option that you could mute an assignment so the students don't don't know you're working on it until you unmute it and it would notify them then. There's some keyboard shortcuts you can do to so you don't have to press buttons as you're grading. And then I think this is a neat thing here in your settings. You can decide how you sort the students as you're moving through them. And right now I have it set to hide the student names. Um, I recruited some amazing teachers to submit work for me to grade and I'm going to hide their names from you so I can protect their innocence, I guess. So they just show up right now as student one, student two, student three. But if I turn that setting off, then I have their name and their profile picture um, right there to see. So those are the basic settings. Also, it's always telling you how close you are to being done, which is nice. So here, I can just take a look. I can see how I'm, how pleased I am um, with their answers. And then I can say, well, this was, I'll give you a nine out of 10. I can add a comment that I could say like, support your answers or, or whatnot. So that you can give them different types of feedback. In addition, you could um, go crazy and attach a file if you had a rubric and a Word document or whatever. You could also um, record yourself, like if you don't want to type something, you just hit use a media comment. When you hit a media comment, then you would record your, your comment to them. So that's a very quick way you could do that if you want to. Now, the only thing I think is kind of cumbersome is once you type in your feedback, you have to press submit to grade that. And then you can move to the next student here. Um, with your arrow. So then I can say, okay, I want to move to student two. Now you'll notice I can quickly see not submitted, submitted and graded, submitted, not graded. And so you can just quickly run through and be like, well, this kid um, was terrible. And I could say, um, submit and move on. And those are kind of the basics of speed grader in its most basic format. Give them a number or a percentage grade, depending on the settings of the assignment. You can leave them a comment. You can also leave a media comment. And you can quickly run through and see some stats as you're visiting each student. And that will be a great way to do your exit slips or bell ringers or any kind of assignment uh, to quickly go through and grade. Now, when you have this, is, this particular assignment is based on a Google Doc. Um, so it, there was a video where we showed that um, there you could set up a Google Doc for them to get a copy of and type into. The really amazing thing about a Google Doc is you have these other options as you're grading. You could say, I want, this is your highlighter. You could highlight, that gives you the option to leave a comment. 
and I could say this is not correct or um, whatever. And so, so you have kind of these layers. You've got Google Docs that are playing with Canvas, and, and you can do all sorts of annotations. And um, I don't even know what this one does. The free text annotation. Mm. Oh, I could just put my text in wherever I want to. So there are just lots of different ways I could say, you know, if I don't like, ooh, I'm still in my free text annotation tool and it won't go away. I could say if I want to take something and mark through it, add a comment there. So there are lots of different things I can highlight. I can just throw text in in text boxes with my free text. I can strike through things. Um, I could draw freehand and so there are just so many ways that you can leave feedback um, for students if you have that Google Doc background that you're working with. So it's a great way to quickly run through and add as much or as little um, feedback for students as, as you want. Then they will be able to see this when they log in and they'll have a notification that they have a grade. They'll also probably receive an email to tell them that their assignment has been graded once you have it unmuted. So um, all sorts of different possibilities there as you're grading your student work.